this week on your mom's house. Here's the thing. I can I tell you the only thing that really gets to me about this? I don't like ham sandwiches. In the fifth dimension, the fourth dimension, we get... just can't perceive it. It's fucking crazy. They're in the oceans. They're they're this in is the what government. I hear all day. Straight guy is also like, you know what is the fucking saddest thing in my life right now? You're like, what is it? Man? I can't come as much as I used to. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by my favorite and yours, Sattva. We cannot underestimate how important getting good sleep is. I've gone my whole life with different times where I just wasn't caring about it enough. And of course, the number one factor for me is sleeping on an amazing mattress. And that's what Sattva provides you with. I've had Sattva products for over a decade. That's all we have at my house. And I love them. I have slept on the luxury firm mattress, which is like the mattress you'd find at a five-star hotel. I've slept on the memory foam mattress called Lumen Leaf, which is so much different than I imagined. It is so comfortable. And I also have slept on a Solair that has a zero gravity setting and that lifts you up when you don't feel like sitting up by your own self. It does it for you. Pick anyone you want. You're going to save money. You're going to get incredible customer service. And you're going to get an environmentally friendly, awesome mattress for a reasonable price. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Pull your jeans up over your tits and get ready to celebrate. <laughs> you're going to be so excited. You're going to rip your tits out and shit all over your dick today. You sure are. It's We're back. <laughs> we're in 4K. And uh, couldn't be more excited to be back here in studio. I love it. Um, the show has gone on, as you know. We haven't. We never miss a week. But those shows were pre-recorded. Yep. Um, we took the kids out, did some family stuff, saw some peeps. Um, we were looking for. Uh, we're looking from reading the thing he's saying. Like, we uh, we we visited some friends in Los Angeles. Oh. Um, did a bunch, we did work there, did meetings, a yeah. couple shows, but it was, um, it was a good, very necessary time, uh, to do that. And now we're back here in beautiful 108 degree Austin. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I also, I had my Smurf day. You did. Um, June 18th is my Smurf day and I turned 47. You did. And what's really neat is that you were training our children in repeating exactly how old mom is. Yeah. Well, Go ahead and I, tell the audience what you've been telling them. I would tell them, <laughs> I was telling them, because they know your age. Like, it's fun to tell them wrong ages for other people. Like, they're a hundred percent convinced that Charles 101, she's turning 102. <laughs> yeah. And they're always like, when does grandma turn 102? And like, September 25th. And then <laughs> yeah, my so mom fun. FaceTimes and then they're like, are you, are you excited to turn 102? And she's like, yes. <laughs> yeah. And then it's great. Your sister Jane tells them that she's 28. Yeah. She's like, I'm 28. Which and she's then, not. And they're like, okay. Like they don't know. <laughs> and she's like, don't tell them I'm not. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. You're not fooling anybody. Well, I mean, she's fooling them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're fooling seven, yeah. seven year olds and five year olds. They're just like, oh, cool. She's 28. I'm like, uh huh. Yeah. So. God, yeah, tell them just, what you trained. So the I trained them to, to go, mom's 47, <laughs> and then she'll be 48, and then 49, and then 50. And I go, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> right? So now <laughs> they go, mom's 47. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, and then she's 48, 49, 50. Wow, wow, wow. And I go, yeah. yeah. So they're always going, wow, 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 wow. at 50. Yeah. <laughs> And that mom's going to be 51st. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And yeah. what's really neat is that you had them make birthday cards for me with, yeah. you're going to be 50. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, yeah, so it's everywhere. Yeah, there's wows everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, funny. Yeah, it's great. It was super fun. It's depressing to think that I'll be 50 soon. And I hate the fact that you're, that you are not even in your really mid 40s. You're only 44. I'm 44. Which sucks. And the crazy thing is, I'll see you go into this deep, dark depression when you Ugh. turn 50. And it'll still be light years away from me. <laughs> light years. Like, like light I'll see years. it and I'll be like, I don't know what that's like. <laughs> and then years. the next year you'll be like, I'm 51. I'll be like, well, I'm 48. I don't, you know, it'll, <laughs> it'll just be like this whole thing where it's like, by the time you're like, I'm out of my depression, I'm turning 50. I'll be like, I guess I'm about to turn 50. Yeah. yeah. And then I have to relive what it's like to right. turn 50. Because you'll see it with me. It sucks. Yeah. But the good news is, statistically speaking, men die before the women. So I will out live you 
statistically. So in, statistically speaking. Right. Like, so but you're saying your I youth. will outlive you. I will outlive you. Statistically, uh, you would. Yeah, but I will. I mean, look, you, you engage in many reckless behaviors. Don't I don't engage here. in. For instance, may I share what you said to me this morning? Sure. We, 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 we went to the beach. We visited the beach a few times when we were in L.A., yes. And you would go swim in the, first of all, bacteria-infected water, which they Pacific came out. Pacific Ocean. They, they, the, the L.A. County came out saying that the water has bacteria in yeah. it. And you're like, okay, it's not at this beach. I'm like, as if, as if bacteria knows to stop. Yeah. At certain beaches and not flow through the water. It does. It water. Goes, oh, that's a good beach. It doesn't go there. Yeah. <laughs> and you were like, sometimes I would swim and I'd be afraid for my life. I thought I was going to drown three times, yeah. Three. And yet you still went. And I would go back the next day mm -hmm. and I'd have dreams about drowning. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. It yeah. was, it was, um, and, and yet it doesn't deter your actions whatsoever. Well, it, it did make me go. I probably, I remember going, I probably shouldn't swim in here anymore. And then I was like, stop being a bitch. And yeah. I got in there. Cool. You know? Yeah. I mean, you can also maybe look at the tides and be like, oh, the, the high tides. It was it? aggressive. And there was a crazy <laughs> undercurrent, you know, <laughs> riptide. Yeah. And so just like a wave would come down on you. And then the, the current would also be coming back from the previous wave and, you know, and I also put together that there weren't a lot of people swimming. <laughs> so, <laughs> like nobody. Yeah. I was like, I'm the only one swimming here. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that was and, scary. and you're, they tell you swim experts always swim alone. Especially yeah, they always in say that. They oceans. do say that. They go, if you're going to go to the ocean or somewhere treacherous to swim, do it alone. <laughs> <laughs> so many times I also, I would see Coast Guard uh, and Sheriff helicopters fly overhead yeah, and yeah. I would always be like I think this is they're probably checking on me like there's that fucking psycho again <laughs> and I yeah. was swimming by the way not like go out do a little swim come back I was I would walk down for like 20 <laughs> minutes and then try to swim all the way back you know yeah you know it's interesting I don't yeah. know what you're doing yeah I try to not know. be a fucking pussy oh I, I always like that I always admire that you know but, you know, we all do behaviors that don't make sense, and you know? Yeah. Oh, man, it was so scary a few times. So <laughs> scary. <laughs> a few times. You like, saw your life Fuck. flash before you. Yeah. And, and can I, when, one morning, I was walking out there, and I did not see you in the ocean, and I did have a moment of panic yeah. where I was like, oh, he's dead. He's definitely drowned. And then I, I started to walk to kind of look for your body, and then yeah. I was like, yeah, but he'll float. Like if it's his body, he'll float. Yeah. And then like I'm not gonna jump in this water to save him because it's so cold. And you'll die too. You know? Sure. And yeah. then you did see me. Yeah. And then I. And then the cool thing was yeah. I got out and you're like, oh, you know what's crazy? Way back there, I thought you were dead. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> you want to get lunch? And I was like, all right. <laughs> well, I wouldn't let it ruin my day. Yeah, I still you didn't. Eat lunch. You didn't. Like if you died, I still go. There's so much good food in in LA. I forgot about. I can't yeah. miss lunchtime. It's my favorite meal. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Well, why don't we do the the, uh, the opener? Oh, ready yeah. To get started. <laughs> so cool. In honor of the glasses you're wearing. Oh, cool. Are you a Jewish girl looking for a sweet, kind, sweet. and amazing boyfriend oh, who will care about you? Well, I am your man. My name is Jeremy <laughs> Hassan. I am 21 years old. I'm Jewish. I'm from Maryland. I'm a baseball loving, <laughs> kind hearted, amazing guy who will always hype you up and be there for you. Would you like to be my first girlfriend? <gasps> then fill out the Google form application <laughs> in my bio. Shut <laughs> up. Oh, Nadav. <laughs> Holy it's like his twin Don't brother. Do we have the application? Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> Tom is drowning in, in the, the ocean. ocean. Tom is drowning. It's not a joke, a Tom is drowning. Wow, 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 you're 50. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Boom. I'm Jewish. 
I love this guy. Very cool video you posted from <laughs> a few years ago, Nadav. Fun to see it. Um, <laughs> did you? Uh, did it work? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, the right one never applied. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the application part the, is Yeah, that's adorable. the best part. Yeah. I mean, look, he's offering a lot, though. He's like, yeah. I will be your hype man. I'll support you. The only thing that is a deterrent for me of being somebody's first girlfriend yeah. is the amount that he's going to jizz inside of me will be so yeah. monumental. He's never he's never had a girlfriend. It's going to, by the way. It's I think so you, much you can, to come. Here's the thing. You can, it's going to. It's gonna take a while to get there. He, it's not like you don't that. think he's gonna be out the gate. Not a chance. Seriously, he's a sweetheart. He's timid. Yeah, of course. That he could be dating you for a few months before that happens. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I, 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 I think if I have, did you pick up the locks yet? <laughs> yeah, he's a sweetheart. He's a I sweetheart. have the goat. Oh, uh, here's his application. Synagogue on uh, Saturday. Let's just see how it starts. Shabbat with my mom. Start at the top here. Uh, your name. Where okay. are you from? Nadav Itzkowitz. By the way, uh, okay, let's get through this first. Yeah. What is your Instagram? That's good. What is your TikTok? Are you Jewish? Why do you want to be my girlfriend? Are you willing to date me even though I'm a short king? Oh, I mean, I love him. This is a very, maybe this is just a very modern approach, but I do feel like... It's not the right way to go. Yep. I mean, you, I think this guy's a real sweet guy, but this is like lists and like applications. It's just not, I don't think it's the good you way You know, to Tom, go. I think you're right. Um, but since you're so much younger than me, you don't really see the <laughs> wisdom that I have. Yeah. I think in today's world, yeah. in the swipe right, swipe left world, yeah. he's really trying to like hone in and narrow down this pro I mean yeah. kids don't court the way we do I would love to see if this worked out it's smart because the type of girl that's going to respond to this yeah no no here's the thing she's got to be in Maryland <laughs> Jewish. Jewish that's hard already right and like kind of <laughs> into uh, a, like a real sweet guy yeah right like <laughs> this is what makes her her lips quiver you know and and get all moist and slide off a chair. Stop it! Is this? I'm gonna puke. <laughs> so, it's a really specific target. Well, I like good guys. You would never fuck this guy. <sighs> I wouldn't. Uh... No, you wouldn't. You would be like, you should meet my friend. That's true. I pawn him off on like. Yeah. Well, first of all, you're not a J broad, even though you're. Oh wearing, yeah, I'm not a J. You're wearing J broad but glasses. I am, but can I tell you something? <laughs> He's not upset. Nadav isn't upset by these J-Brods. Yeah. No, I'm upset by the video, not so much your glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what bothers you? He, he everything, wants to... Everything about it. He's a nice kid, though. He's you sweet. agree with that. Yeah, right? he seems super nice into baseball. I mean, what's not to like? It's... What do you not like? I like him. <sighs> you shouldn't beg also. I don't like that. He's like, please be my girlfriend. I mean... Just the, my... you know, just the, this will the... work. <laughs> you know, it's... Here's uh, the thing. Yeah. You don't want to approach this as please be my girlfriend because it just even if you're not saying it it gives off like a sense of desperation you yeah, want to be like you're right i'm a, i'm available i'm taking applications uh, exactly for I'm my available. girlfriend that's, that's right that's how he should redo that's the right. video that's how you fix this i'm out i'm single i'm yeah. ready to mingle let's see who's out there these are i'm jewish i like baseball uh, you know if you go like, I, I promise I'll be there for you. It's like, it's too yeah, desperate. Yeah, it's too desperate. And what happens? Everything gets all <laughs> dried up down there. You know? <laughs> so true. You want to yeah, keep, you it, you wanna keep it. <laughs> oh, right. I get it. You know what Stop. I mean? Jesus, fuck. Yeah, that's right. No, I, I get it. But I do like, I like him. I think he's sweet. You're right. The approach needs to be a little more. Well, speaking of. I'm he's Jewish. Nadav. Um. <laughs> We uh, yes. haven't seen you in a while, and last time we saw you, you were uh, into the idea of getting yourself in better physical shape and attempting to run the New York City Marathon. Yes! Mm -hmm. What have you done since I've seen you last? So major. What's going on? Uh, so it's been quite a journey. It's been, I want to say, close to a month and some change since like the gauntlet was thrown. Mm -hmm. Um been working out 
every single day. Uh, put in. Wow. I was doing two a days with Sean for uh, for like I want to say about three or four weeks. Wow. wow. And what I've noticed, which was super interesting, is that the more health people you get involved, um, the more they disagree with each other. Yeah, that's wow. true. It does happen. And that kind of froze me up for like a week. It I'm just happen. like, oh, this person's an idiot. Don't fucking. Their yeah. plan is wrong. Do my listen plan. to me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So now I've like uh, wow. uh, now I'm like listening like to one person in particular, um, the nutritionist that uh, that Ryan uh, hooked me up with or mm. directed me to. And uh, what's I'm, your eating like? Uh, I'm cooking every single meal, um, or like, and if I can't eat, then it's like, oh, okay, well, I'm just getting something that's just high in protein and no carbs and stuff like that. So what are you eating? Chicken tits and like chicken tits? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. chicken tits. Yeah, mm -hmm. chicken tits. Uh, some fish, shrimp. Uh, How has your finished has beef. your physical fitness improved in these weeks? Yeah. So when I first started, I think I said, "Oh, I'm close to my heaviest. I'm 260." I was way fatter than that. How much were you? I was like, like when I got weighed, when I got weighed on my doctor, yeah, I was 290. Oh, yeah. Fuck. And I, I didn't even think my body was capable of getting up to that number. I was like, "Yeah, there's no way it's that." 290. And I wow. Saw, I saw wow! 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 Wow, wow, wow. Um, wow, 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 indeed. And how much Fuck. are you down? Are you down? Yeah, I'm down to 273 now. Hey, now. So that's almost 20 wow, pounds. Wow, yeah. Nadab. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you're first right. of all, I mean, that is, you're on the right path. You this look is, so much better already. Yeah, your, face, your face looks less puffy. You're not eating shit late at night. Yeah, you're not bro. doing the same. I'm you learning. You look house. great. I'm learning inflammation is like a whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it prevents you from doing things. Yeah, it's not just like oh, you look poofy. It's, it's a lot. Do you of realize things. that means that you? That's so funny because I've been talking about it. Mm. you were in your own head off by thirty pounds <laughs> of what you thought you were. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I went to my doctor the the initial time, I was just like, hey, that scale is like. It's wrong. It's like it's because I have my shoes on, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's like, "Are you wearing thirty pound shoes?" Yeah. I'm like, no. Fuck, man. Okay. Um, and how about are you? So it's obviously a really big thing you're undertaking, but yeah. So you started, I'm sure, going by walks and stuff, right? Are you like right? Whoa. So like, I was talking to Mark Bell, and like he was giving me a routine before I started like uh, uh, going heavy training with Sean. Um, and so he was like, oh, okay, well start with going on like 30 minute, 60 minute walks, mm -hmm. start with that and then s throw in 30 seconds of light jogging in between. Okay. And this was like week one. And so and how was the fear where you, cause I know you were so afraid of hurting yourself. How was it, that? How the, was the, the, the two days, I mean, look, I've already thrown out my back twice in this process, but okay. it's like, you just get a quick bow to the spine and you're good to go like within wow. a day or two. Yeah. Look, look at that. Yeah. It's. Well, like, I, I've also seen some things and something really resonated with me. It's, w would you rather be in pain doing nothing or be in pain doing something? Ooh, and the second, I prefer one. the second one. That's a good one. Um, and so, uh, and so, yeah, <laughs> and so the first week, Mark was like, oh, yeah, you should, like, just do some light jogging, just introduce it. Immediately, both my calves cramped up. Yeah. And couldn't walk for, like, two or three days. Yeah. Um, so then it's like, okay, let's first take off a bunch of weight before we introduce, Smart. like, Fast walking. So now I'm just doing walks, fast paced walks. And are you doing it for like 60 minutes or how long do you do it for? Yeah, I'm going for 45 minute walks an hour um, wow. around my neighborhood, sometimes treadmill if it's too hot. But I mean, honestly, once you get going in this 100 degree weather, like just it all you're, feels you're, the same. You're right? going you're... so fast, the breeze hitting your yeah. face yeah, just yeah, feels yeah. nice. Yeah. Do you walk at a, a fast pace? Like, what's your? Uh, yeah, I, I I have to because like right now I've noticed that my biggest uh, my biggest bottleneck is my calves. What'll okay. happen is like they'll start first burning a little bit and then they'll just start cramping to the point where like yeah. my body wow. will just start. Are you hydrating bit. like a motherfucker too? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm on so many fucking supplements. I'm on so many PEDs. Get, like, get, yeah. What's PED? Performance enhancing drug. Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. What's up? High tea Nadav is here. High oh, tea Nadav. shit. <laughs> yeah. Was your tea level super low? Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Because doesn't weight gain contribute to low tea? Well, yeah. The, the other thing that, that that's real crazy that is like, scientifically proven is that men um, who kind of live a sedentary lifestyle in their 30s will more rapidly have a decrease in their testosterone. Mm. And men who pay attention, like stay physically fit, lift weights, um, you know, take care of themselves, they don't have that decline. So you can mm. actually fend off that from happening 
just by being like amazing healthy you know t take care of yourself um i was definitely in the former category you know by not being active and not and then you, you were see always it. you were always a high tea king to me though. Thanks. thanks you always gave it to me i mean i always came a lot but it wasn't yeah. because you came a lot yeah but yeah but yeah, it's fun it's like now it's just like if anyone like kind of crosses me now, I just kind of like fucking check them. Wow. <laughs> like I didn't wow. expect that. That's the tea coming in. I the love tea's starting that. to come Roy in. Rage How, the dove. Can yeah. I, Matt? Can I ask what your dosage is? Like, uh, I think I'm taking twenty five units a week right now. Okay. And, and then once a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Um, and then that'll. Oh no no no! Sorry, I'm taking twenty five units twice a week. Oh, okay. that's that's yeah. That Twenty five units twice a week, and then uh, we're Dang. adjusting that after a month. Nice. <laughs> and then on the Manjaro too, um, nice. which is also very interesting to see how that works. What's, What's that? Uh, Manjaro is kind of like uh, it's it, it's like it's like Ozempic, um, where it's just you take that and you're like, food, ew, gross. I don't like that. Fuck okay. yeah, <laughs> dude. Right. So yeah, so it's like I just came back from uh, uh, Mexico celebrating with. Uh, an anniversary, and uh, I was buying so much expensive food that I had like two bites. I'm like, yes, fuck, I really need to stuff this. Up. Like, Fat Nadav was like, bro, we fu Fat and Junadav was like, dude, there's so much money on the table, yeah, we have to fucking take it. <laughs> and then I was just like, I literally cannot. And like, I actually lost weight on vacation, which is fuck. Great. Great. Yes. Yeah. Well, stay focused, man. Stay Thank focused. You. So Thank pumped. You. Um, you are getting an, an enormous. Irish tattoo if you don't complete the marathon. <laughs> don't forget that. So I did kind of forget that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it's are we just, getting him say? Oh, Callahan or I think Irish, Irish pride, pride uh, with a large Irish flag. Yeah. I'll I'll get the flag. <laughs> Irish pride. Irish pride is a prison tattoo, man. It <laughs> is? Anything with pride at the end of it. Yeah, that means you're looking for fights. <laughs> okay, well then a large <laughs> Irish, Irish flag pride. and O'Callahan, you know. Cool, yeah. my first tattoo. Can't wait. Yeah. Big yeah. one though. Big. Old English. Not like, oh, look here. No, a chest. No, no, no. A chest piece right. or a bag piece? Yeah. One of the two. If you don't finish. Here's wait, the thing. Wait. If you, he doesn't you finish. You get to choose. If it's on the chest, you know, it could be a moderate size. If it's on the back, it's the full back. Okay. <laughs> I just have an Irish flag on my full back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude, I hope your girlfriend is into that look. Yeah, that it's likes Irish guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on. But is it if he doesn't finish the marathon or if he doesn't finish it within the no, time? No, it doesn't finish. Period. Yeah, Just yeah. gives up. Yeah. So um, in light of this discussion, I got this email in from a listener. Hi, Jeans. While I was sitting at my desk last Wednesday, my boss became concerned about my mental well-being because I was howling with laughter at the thought of Nadav running the New York City Marathon. Uh -huh. However, as someone who has run several marathons before and is also signed up for the New York City Marathon this November, I could not be more excited about this challenge. You have already set up the most important part of training for a marathon, a support and accountability network. Nothing motivates you more than the desire to achieve your goals and the thought of the merciless heckling in possible failure. There are a few things that you should know about the course ahead of time. The New York City Marathon has some of the best crowds in the world with an estimated 2 million spectators throughout the course. Go Nadav! Go Nadav! They're not all going to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> On First Avenue and Central Park, with all the cheering, you will feel like an Olympic athlete. Oi, vey, go! Oi. We got to think of our yeah. signs and stuff because yeah, we're all yeah. going to this. Oh, yeah, the whole, yeah. all, all of the mommies are going to be there. Oh yeah! You will not find this festive atmosphere in a few spots. I specifically remember the Hasidic neighborhoods of Brooklyn being silent. <laughs> then again, perhaps they weren't excited to see my gangly ass, but could be overjoyed to see Nadav. So that's interesting. He's saying we should set up in the Hasidic neighborhoods in Brooklyn. Maybe. Well, that's a probably a good idea. Also, Nadav will be clear to spot because he'll be wearing a Star of David um, <laughs> shirt and shorts. And um, Oh, this is news. <laughs> yeah. You're representing. Yeah, and a yarmulke. People will know, like, that's our guy. Yeah. And a yarmulke. Cool. Yes. Very cool. The <laughs> biggest piece of advice to Nadav is you're going to have to get out on those long training runs. These runs won't be about hitting a specific time, but rather completion and building the mental wherewithal to continue when experiencing that kind of pain. You can do this. Good luck coming up in November, Tom. And the big thing this I think is, awesome. is that, Thank you, Tom. you know, we are, we are where we are right now. There's time. There's it's time. about focusing on, like you said, dropping weight, 
so that your body can withstand the stuff and just know that that's coming up. But yeah, it's a mental, I think everybody you talk to, I talked to Cam Haynes about this once about, you know, how the fuck do you run? This guy runs, he'll run a marathon during a lunch break. What? Yeah. Cam Haynes runs, uh, like he'll run 25 miles, uh, during lunch, you know, and he does ultra marathons. He does 50, hundred mile runs. Right. Wow. Like I don't, but I don't, conceive it and he said the hardest part is mile one Mm. mile one is the hardest part for ultra runners you know that's the part where they're like fuck like it sucks they think it sucks and then it's it's all upstairs you know i mean you you obviously have to have your body in a certain level of of condition to do this kind of stuff but it is all up in your head you know, yeah, because I, I assume you're it becomes meditative, right? Like, you're you're the most you I ever got body. into running was when I was 14, mm-hmm. and I would run 10 miles, which is less than half of a marathon. And it was, I mean, what I, what I can remember from that era was still telling yourself when your body, when you, like, when that part of your head goes, All right, I think you're tired, I think slow down, or I think this doesn't feel good, keep going. And you do like get into this like groove of it. Go, mm-hmm. go, go. You keep going. And also, uh, don't don't marathon runners piss themselves? Because there's a point where you, um, you 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 lose body function control. I've heard that uh, towards you know the end of it, you just piss yourself, and and they eat those goo things, those yeah, goo power I bars. I mean, I don't know if they piss themselves because they're so dehydrated. <laughs> but <laughs> no, no, I just mean they you lose control of your body function because your body starts to kind of. Uh, shut down no I'm, towards I'm, the end i've heard this. i'm not familiar i know you know <clears throat> it's interesting you say that yeah I, I saw a thing that they shit themselves shitting shitting is more common i think yeah is that right yeah well you gotta shit before shitting you run. And, and organ failure i think is more common than <laughs> pissing themselves yeah. i'm cool with organ failure yeah i do not want to shit myself in the middle of that marathon yeah <laughs> that would not be good well um, maybe if you could run aren't there running diapers you know for sure yeah. You should yeah, go get you some, some running some diapers. diapers. Um, what, you, but you got to shit the. Peasy. What time does the race begin? Is it like 6 a.m.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better yeah. start pra- maybe practice running so early. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm already naturally waking up at like 7 now to get a workout in before work and stuff. So, okay. um, Speaking of all this stuff, <laughs> I got to tell you, I did a deep dive on Hitler the last. <laughs> wow. <Whoa>. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I got to tell you something. He was he was really something. Yeah. I have been <laughs> watching <laughs> so much Hitler stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, it's um, neat for me because I fall asleep while you you're fall doing to it. it, and it's well, sh- an yeah. you get to hear all his yeah. speeches, and it's shifted from murder to Hitler, which I prefer World War II, hands down. Yeah, because my father, I feel like it's a rite of passage for men. Where you're not a real dad until a you get dad mouth, where your breath smells like shit for no reason. Uh, and my son, my youngest, is like your breath smells terrible. <laughs> so I know it's happening. He'll tell me that in the morning. I'm like, mm, good morning. He's like, go wash your mouth. I'm yeah. Like, okay. And B, all dads love Hitler. Mm. I don't know what this is. I would rephrase that. Um, <laughs> real I'd dads, say, real love dads Hitler. love history. As, oh, is that the, is the way to do it. Um, but my dad never read books. I but I guarantee the only books he would read. Or about H. Yeah. Big H. <laughs> Big H dog. Big Hitley, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was, I'm telling you, I and I watched <laughs> The Little Rascals, the show about his whole inner circle. Is it what they call it? The I, Little Rascals? <laughs> <laughs> Where it's, uh... Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> oh, that would be so uh, funny. Uh, they should. Goebbels, Himmler, Yeah, you Eichmann, always call me that. Yeah, yeah. So, all those guys... Who was the biggest rascal in his circle? <laughs> well... It's kind of hard. There, there was a bunch of them. Yeah, um, knuckleheads. I mean, yeah, a bunch of knuckleheads. I mean, there's, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> who's your fave? Well, the most sadistic, <laughs> the sadistic of the of like all the little rascals, I think would probably be <laughs> Himmler. Yeah, because you know? he was running the SS. Sure, and, and like and giving orders to do and, mean stuff, and not just doing it, but like really enjoying it. Like you know? he would enjoy the death camp stuff. Uh, all of it. I mean, he's, he, I think he 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 loved the um, the philosophy uh, uh, of the Third Reich, like and and like the racial purity bit. Loved it. Loved it. And he and he loved being in charge of the SS and like you know murdering and yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because oh, from what I overheard while falling asleep, yeah. is that these these. I don't rascals- want to go out. I don't want to be out of line here, but I'll t- I'll say this: <laughs> not a great guy. <laughs> not a good one. Not no. a good bad egg. 
yeah. Is that these these guys in his circle, the rascals, <laughs> they were all about, um, yeah. it was more of a power jockey than true, than wanting to do evil. But it sounds like this Himmler character mm-hmm. was also about not only the power jockey, but the fun in, in doing bad things. He loved it. He yeah. loved it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, they're all pretty bad dudes. I think Here's the thing. It was so outlandish to think that this party would get to power a party. when they first <laughs> attempted sure. to, that it wasn't even like, it wasn't even in the realm of possibilities, you know? And the fact that they went through a, um, a, a trying a coup to overthrow. I remember them, I heard that. And then, yeah. and then failing at that and going to, like, it was like the party was basically on the cusp of falling apart. You know, yeah. and so to think that they, I think when they actually got to power, it was all like it was so addictive, so crazy that like oh now we're in power, and then they went full force, full throttle, um, full throttle. But but that's what they say, you know, Tom. Success is when hard work meets opportunity, mm-hmm. and those Nazis they stuck in it. It they took did. fifteen t- yeah. fifteen years to get into power. They did. They that took that it wasn't. Out. I mean, Hitler was a young guy when he started, and then he was wow 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 what forty seven. <laughs> Yeah. He was doing his killing. He was, uh, yeah, middle guy. You got to stick with it. It's a mental game. If there's anything you can take <laughs> from the Hitler story, it's stick to your guns. Yeah, yeah. Don't Just don't give up. Don't give up on don't your give dreams. Up. Yeah, don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams. Yeah, that's so cool. That uh-huh. is so cool. And they did have a fashion aesthetic that was pretty interesting. You know, too. I wasn't going to bring that up, but uh, <laughs> well, I mean, look, they had a look. They had a narrative. They had the story. It they is had crazy everything. that you think it's that um that term too, marketing stormtroopers, you know, yeah. is like you Star know Wars. You, the Star Wars. But then you think of like the SS, and they are like, oh, here's the thing. You know what's crazy? We're um we have it in our head because we know about them. But I think if you didn't know about them and you just saw, like, if you had no idea, and you just saw that, I think you know that it's evil. Yeah. You know or what you I mean? sense the dark, the darkness. Of the the, yeah, dude. The way, like, like everything from the, the swastikas to, like, how they march. I don't think you'd be like, that's probably the good guys when no. you see the images. You know? You're right. You're absolutely right. It's I think you just terrifying. Know. It's yeah. terrifying. Well, that's the point, right? To scare you into there's a, voting for Hitley. There's H Dog with his homeboy Himmler there right there. There he is. There yeah. we are. Yeah. Looking good. Mm-hmm. Wow. What a neat thing to delve into. So, uh, you got yeah, into deep hit. dive. Well, I would yeah. say I, I just started watching <laughs> all the docs, <laughs> all the docs on World War II, yeah. not just on 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 this knucklehead. I, I did on on all sure. all the World Strat- War II strategy stuff. war strategies, which is a yeah. big dad theme. I as watched well. a couple of Pearl Harbor docs. Yeah, dads um, love war strategy. Like, how do we defeat the enemy? I'll tell you something about fucking those guys. Which ones? <laughs> you know who? Yeah, which the ones? guys who started Pearl Harbor? The fucking <laughs> Samsung Sony folks. Uh, <laughs> okay. Fucking balls on these guys. I know. Big balls. <laughs> Big balls. Yeah. Big balls. We. Uh, Big balls. Yeah. Because it is horrific. Like, I, I got to see Oppenheimer. I got to see Oppenheimer. I really want to see it. I, oh. I heard it's fucking incredible. You know, dads love Oppenheimer. Uh, dads too. love fucking Oppenheimer. <laughs> It is so horrific when you see the details and the long-lasting effects. Of the atomic bomb. uh, Yes. Well, of course, and I know what you're referring to. But then you watch Pearl Harbor and you're like, yeah. They deserve what they got. They they had it coming. You asked for it. They tried to antagonize us. You asked for it and here it is. So, ¿Por qué la dona es muerta? I think they just said, why is that woman dead? How did I learn that? By practicing on the apps. And the best way to learn a language is through immersion. Living where the language is spoken natively and using it every day. That's not possible for everyone. So what's the second best way to learn a language? Babbel. Because with Babbel, you can start speaking a new language in just three weeks. This summer, you can start speaking a new language with Babbel. Here's what I think is the most amazing part of Babbel is that they make you spell things out. You have to spell something out on certain parts of the language learning uh, uh, process because by learning to spell it, you retain that word and how the language is spoken better. So I, it, it's, it, it's work. You've got to actually study. You have to practice, but it definitely helps you learn. Studies from Yale, Michigan State University, and others continue to prove 
Babbel is better. For instance, one study found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. With over 10 million subscriptions sold, Babbel is real language learning for real conversations. Here's a special limited time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash YMH. Get up to 55% off at babbel.com slash YMH, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L.com slash YMH. Rules and restrictions may apply. Ciao. Well, interesting you bring up the atomic bomb because I too have gone down a motherfucking hole. Yeah. It started on TikTok where I get all my information from. I am. This was your Hitler summer. Oh my God. Hold on. This is your summer yeah, of the Fuhrer. I Führer. know you are like. This is your summer of the Fuhrer. This is my summer of the aliens. They're fucking real. And if you guys aren't keeping up on David Grush and, 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 and the congressional hearings, you're out of your fucking mind. They're real. Disclosure is here. I hear this. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why now. Listen, I hear about this. Man, I am in the fifth dimension. Every day. I'm working on. At all hours. I want to communicate with the aliens. If you can get me in communication with these aliens, I, I, I'm here for it. She's got Write the audio in, books, let me know. the podcasts, every fucking TikTok video oh. about it, the news streams. I, I'm obsessed. I can't stop. I can't stop. There was one day I, I will made say this in your, in your defense. I'm ill. I'm I mentally ill this with this stuff. In your defense. Go ahead. The fact that there are congressional hearings and no, hold on. There used to be, this used to be a thing in a movie. Yeah. Like in a movie would start and it'd be like, Congress would be like, hold on. You know, someone dropped the gavel and then they'd be like, well, sir, if the aliens and you'd be like, oh, this is a like, okay, that's a fun fantasy premise to a movie that, that in Congress they're talking to somebody about yeah. aliens, you know, and then you escape into this fantasy movie. This is the story yes. of this movie. The fact that it's it's actually happening and they're like, we have crafts. There are, you know, there are, we have the Not bodies. Human. And then, and this is like really happening. And then they're like, okay, well, well, that's interesting. And then they're like, you know, uh, have you been to a sandals resort? Like right after the, <laughs> the, the commercial and nobody gives up. Yeah. Yeah. AOC is asking about questions about aliens. aliens. You're like, yeah. this is fucking nuts. It's, it is nuts. And and look, I got into, I was never a UFO person until I stumbled on TikTok on yeah. David Grush, this yeah. guy that was head of ATIP. They always have these stupid acronyms in the skiff. Yeah. And he's saying, he's a whistleblower. And he's yeah. like, look, we have not only alien craft, yeah. we have their bodies and there's these deep state operations working now. They're utilizing this the alien technology. Memorable moments, yeah. That we, we're, we're reverse engineering stuff in the deep state. Listen, Duncan and I have been back and forth. Duncan's Duncan, good for this. I, yeah. I call Duncan right after the congressional hearing, and he goes, "Yeah, man, I'm live streaming it right now." <laughs> and he and I got into. It. I mean, I, I'm on the. I'm ready. I'm ready for so the. So here's aliens. some of them for people They're that already haven't here, followed. Though. It's too late. The government is absolutely in possession. Of UAPs. They, they call it UAPs, not UFOs now. Like it changes. Because anything. UFO. Unidentified aerial phenomena. Yeah. So UFO has the kind negative of connotations negative connotation. Negative connotation. Being a crazy person. You're, so they have to rebrand it, you know? Um, so David Grush, the former U.S. intelligence officer, told the panel that he is absolutely certain the federal government is in possession of UAPs. Um, and when asked, like, uh, does that mean there is money in the budget that is set to go to a program? but it doesn't and it goes to something else. And he said, yes, I have specific knowledge of that. Meaning we have a program in the government to deal with unidentified, what is it? Aerial, aerial phenomenon, phenomena that the government is aware is hidden. of. Yeah. Scroll Skunk down. works. I've the next read about one, it. this was obviously the one that I think it would be the most exciting for someone. When he was asked, did we get the pilots? Um, he said, yes. And then they go, is it, are they human? He said, no, they're nine non-human biolo bio biologics. biologics. God damn it, Tom. I've watched this a million times. Well, we're non reading it to an audience. Human biologics. That's, that's the whole point. Non-human. But now here's the deal, man. It says 
Grush said he prefers to use the term non-human rather than alien or extraterrestrial. And I believe they asked him, why do you use that term? And he goes, well, because there's things we don't understand. Meaning, so a lot of people, the comments were like, oh, he could be a squirrel piloting the thing. Well, then he would have fucking said, we found a chimp or a squirrel. Non-human yeah. biologist. So he's also inferring, by the way, these non-human entities are already here because he, he said that they're interdimensional. That means... They're fucking here already in the fifth dimension, the fourth dimension. We get... just can't perceive it. It's fucking crazy. They're in the oceans. They're they're this in is the what government I hear all day. I've been hearing this I all am, day. I am fucking for weeks. please, David Gresh. If you come on your mom's house, you can disclose. We'll, we'll put you in a skiff. You can tell us all the classified details. What if the non-human biologic, literally is... no, gets into like is shown in Congress, and the first thing it says is like, "I'm Jewish." <laughs> Right? Isn't that crazy? A, I'm, looking that crazy? <laughs> I'm looking for a girl. I'm looking for a girlfriend. Okay. Officials must establish a safe and transparent reporting process. Because there is no process right now. People are people are told to shut up, basically, when the pilots do. And, Encounter these? Yes. And yeah. there's no way to report it. And people are afraid to because you, you're called crazy. Yeah. Not only that, commercial airline pilots are saying, oh, yeah, we see UFOs constantly. Meaning when you're on your United flight or American Airlines or whatever. They just look at each other in the cockpit. And they're yeah. Like, and, you, and by the way, because they're not on our official radar or whatever being discussed. Hey, you we're can about get... to touch down in Chicago if everybody had a good flight. <laughs> Make sure you see <laughs> there's a fucking alien craft yeah. just flew over yes. and uh, just uh, we'll be on the ground shortly. Thanks but very much. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also a hazard because you could be hit by one of these things because they're not yeah. they're not in the dialogue. The description of one of those of how it flew. Anti-gravity, all... Tom, we already know about this. Bob Lazar disclosed this. He was on the JRE yeah. uh, back in 2017 or 2018. It's called anti-gravity, utilizing also the element 115, okay? It is and now on is the probably, periodic table of elements. Which gets to you the most that the, there's a stigma associated <laughs> With sightings and it silences those possible witnesses. <laughs> yeah, but why now? The big question in the UFO community is why disclosure now? Why mm -hmm. is the government? Well, a lot of people like to go because you, you you just see it Im immediately. It's like this is to distract us from this other thing, and that, that they're, of course they're conveniently doing this now because everything is so bad in the world, you know. Yeah, but they don't. There's other way. I don't know. This is a big card. The UFO card's a big card, and no one cares. That's the best part, is that on TikTok, everybody's like, the government told us there's aliens, and nobody gives a shit. Yeah, that, that, kind of, that part is kind of true. Nobody cares. Nobody really cares. Nobody cares. But it's kind of interesting that nobody really cares. It's almost, I know. It's almost the most interesting part is like, how come nobody really cares? <laughs> Why does nobody care? Yeah, that, that's what's fascinating. I know. We're more upset about the Bud well, Light commercial than we are aliens exist and might be among us right now living I, in another dimension. I think the reason is that we actually got to the point where they go, okay, this might be real. There, there might be aliens and people are like, and what am I supposed to do about that? Right. What the how, fuck? Does, how does this affect my life in any, my mortgage payment is that's still due. That's what they're due, saying, yeah. You know? yeah. Are aliens going to pay my bills? Yeah, yeah. People are like, that's what they're saying on TikTok. It's like, yeah, but I can't. Eggs are fucking eight dollars yeah, a carton. Dude. I don't so care. Nothing changes. I get it. Nothing I changes. I get it when your when your reality is tough. But anyway, so there are. I believe there are some crafts that we have reverse engineered the technology on. Back in Roswell, that first crash, uh, you may know that the CIA and the other whatever branches of government were formed like three within months three months after yeah, that true. Roswell qua crash. The Air Force was uh, designated yeah. right after that. Everything happened like three suspicious. months after Roswell. Anyway, we have reverse engineered some of these crafts, so some of these are probably our thing, but not all of them. Well, Supersonic speeds, two um, Mach two, human beings fall apart. Here's the thing: if uh, to, at that speed, to the uh, visiting species to Earth, I'd just like to say, welcome, <laughs> howdy, <laughs> our new alien overlords. We welcome you. I recommend the brisket if you're gonna <laughs> come well, to Austin. Here's what I got thinking about, Tom. What's that? Is that these aliens are probably already in our systems, in our government, and specifically may already be famous country singers. Oh, stop. Have you thought about the, hold on. It'll explain why the awkwardness, uh, <laughs> save Ukraine. <laughs> What's that? It's an alien trying to be human. Tom. It does feel like that. It He's does mimicking feel like that. what it is to be a person because they don't, he doesn't it's know. True. Hey, good and, morning. Garth Brooks here. You know what today is? It's the seventh anniversary of Inside Studio So what do you say tonight I mean, on Inside Studio G? 
let's do a little Garth request thing, okay? I'll bring my guitar, you bring the songs. Let's have some fun. Beep, blop, beep, up. Yeah. So as if you don't know this, pretty much everybody's <laughs> blocked now. Um, <laughs> Literally, if, we're all blocked. I think that, by the way, he must have hired somebody new. You know what I mean? <laughs> a like, youngster? Somebody a came gen, in and they were like, you just got to block these folks. <laughs> He's like, oh. And then he was like, uh, what is it, like two dozen people? And he was like, mm, <laughs> no. Uh, so we, yeah. Uh, we, by the way, the entire YMA Studios has zero access uh, to the G account. And here's what I can say. This is not the time to back down. <laughs> We need you to step up where we can't, right? Support our cause. You're going to be weak. You're going to be strong. Your brothers are sitting here just waiting for the fucking <laughs> hella evac. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have food. We don't have water. Are you going to leave us here? Or are you going to step up? Just something to think about. Um, right. Are you motivating your soldiers like your, your buddy H did? Give us a speech. <laughs> Give us a motivational speech. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the end is here. I wasn't, I wasn't. We're pushing forward. Jesus you got just Christ. like that. You've been influenced. You know what's You're funny? You're motivating people I'm talking about. Way. I'm talking about H, H on stage now. I have, I have an H bit now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm That's what happens when you do a deep dive into history, yeah. man. Yeah, I, I go all the way in with H now. We've changed. This yeah. summer has changed us, Tom. Who yep. are we? <laughs> Liquid death. I'm it's losing delicious. my mind. Um, uh, but I agree, guys. Now's the time. All hands on deck. This is a really crucial moment. Yeah. He looks really great, is. by the way. G looks really good. I mean, for an alien hybrid human humanoid species <laughs> who's been here. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I saw that he like funded some uh, like police department building in nashville and i was like isn't mm -hmm. that the savviest move somebody can do is like start helping the cops oh, out yeah. yeah you're like hey uh oh y'all need help <laughs> i'll help you i'll help you look yeah is there is there a someone's gone missing i want to oh, join right. the search party you right know? yeah yeah it's like what my dad used to do in the 80s yeah. i want to help catch the bad guys the ba <laughs> yeah well that makes sense you know what yeah. there's a theory out there in the ufo community yeah that we have a treaty with the aliens where yeah. they're allowed to take a certain amount of humans and do experiments on them. Yep. I'm just saying. It's kind of a weird coincidence. I don't want to get us into any trouble. Let's change the topic. This is something <laughs> fun that I wanted to show you. In the U.S., where he was a local at a sauna in Detroit. It was, a, it was, a, it was in a black area, so most of the men were African-Americans, you see. And... Uh, and they used to say, pass over the white boy. Oh, Lord, you know. And they used to actually physically, pass, I was 19 then, and they physically yeah. used to pass me over to the middle of the wall. And some of these black men were fat and they got fabulous tongues. What? Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. You know, I used to come and come and come. And uh, I wasn't I expecting about that. <laughs> oh, shit. Four or five times in a couple of hours was not unusual. Now, of course, I am 70 next year. And one of my great sadnesses is I can't do anything like that. Oh, yeah. that is a big sadness. That's the greatest regret in his life is that yeah. he can't come. I can't come much. four and five times in a day now. A bunch of black guys. It's one of the <laughs> saddest things and one of the greatest uh, sorrows of my life. <laughs> That's is it. that I'm 70 and I can't come as much as I used to. <laughs> you know, I mean, That's I go to learned. the baths and I, and I have to be satisfied with two. Yeah. Because if I try for number three, I'll kill myself. I mean, my heart's beating. You know, I know, I know that if, if I die, it'll probably be there with all those people there. <laughs> I the bath tell attendant you. will be in awful trouble, wouldn't he? I, I gotta, wish I were a gay man. I got to say, I mean, doesn't this kind of show you? I mean, this one is, this is a, obviously gay, but... Doesn't this really highlight the difference between men and women? Because this is not that different from a straight man. <laughs> no. I mean, it really not at isn't. All. A straight guy is also like, you know, one of the fucking saddest thing in my life right now. And you're like, what is it? He's like, I can't come as much as I used to. <laughs> and that's coming so important to men. Why do you think so that? Important. Why? What? Because you physically have to get this poison out of your body. Yeah. 
it's a physical necessity to get it out of you. So it's always like a delivery mechanism and the touches feel nice on your peener. But don't you like, cause women enjoy touches yeah. and sex. But we and don't it, need, I don't, yeah. I, like and it's also, not a biological necessity to I come. I feel like women can just shut that thing off. Oh yeah. And like, if they're not feeling it from the yeah. world or whoever they're interacting with, Boop. it's like, it's not a big thing for them to be like, oh yeah, I haven't, like a single woman, I haven't slept with somebody in yeah. a long time and well, not bothered by it. But, but also too, don't forget that women's bodies are cyclical. So if I'm ovulating, which, you know, then mm -hmm. I, I'm really fired up. I'm ready to F. Like I would want to be handed around to a group of black guys too. You yeah. know what I mean? Sure. But uh, then when, when your body's shutting you down for period of time, you're like, don't touch me. Don't look at yeah, me. But I don't want to fucking I'm talking touch about it. shutting it down for long for, periods. I know, not I just know. when you're cyclically ovulating. Challenged, yeah. No, no, no. I'm just saying like, Women can go like, I'm just not. Some broads are. Yeah, I can't. Some broads are low T, it. right? Like, yeah. I, I don't know, low low E. Yeah. Low P, low progesterone, low estrogen. Yeah. Yeah, they're just but maybe dudes hormonally. basically, well, there are there are dudes who are not very sexually driven. So Those are low T wrong. kings. Yes. Um, this guy's about to turn 70. He's juiced up. And he's just like. But <sighs> how great would it be? The saddest thing in my whole life. <laughs> Can't come like I used to, you know. But that's the beauty of being a gay man. They don't have the burdens. He has of to be satisfied with two nuts, and that's a bummer <laughs> to him. I know, I know. What a life. Two comes is all I get these days. <laughs> what a life. Uh, and uh, he can fuck. just go to a bathhouse, and there's dudes just waiting to yeah. JSD. It's he used crazy. to get passed around. I know. What a great day for somebody like that. What yeah. a great life. Could you imagine? Yeah. I can't imagine it as a woman, like the biological thing of I could get pregnant or whatever. Like that doesn't exist for you guys. Yeah. It must be nice. God. That's so gay. They just have it better. They yeah. really do. Yeah. They're so superior. Mm. Fucking lucky. But lesbians. Yeah. Come on. The interesting part is that when women get together, I hear that they don't, they stop having sex. Lesbian bed death is what they call it. Really? When two broads get together. They're like, uh, we're just friends now. Like it shuts down. I'm not saying for all, because yeah. obviously there's exceptions. But I bet yeah. that probably happens though in gay couples as they age though too. Well, the gay couples that I'm friends with, yeah. opposite day. Actually, because they don't have children or the responsibilities that we do, they travel a lot and then they have a group of men who they regularly fuck outside of their own pairing. So they'll be like, yeah, well, do you feel like fucking Rick and Tim today? Yeah. Okay, we'll invite them over. Let's fuck tonight. Like, it's just great. I know. It's fucking amazing. Oh, man. I know. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so, cool. so great. So cool. Anyway. It's the coolest. I also, along, along these lines of discussion, I have a cap report that I'd like to share with any. <laughs> oh, please, go forward. <laughs> please, please. Um, I was talking to my friends, Sean and Jimmy, so this actually originated in a dialogue with them. We were talking about gay men and specifically bisexual men. Mm -hmm. Now, we were saying how, look, I know they say they exist, uh, but in my experience with bisexual men, it doesn't last very long. It's usually you're bisexual for a short window on your way to gay town. And you park at a gay town and you don't go back to bisexual land. So I'm going to put it out there. I think bisexual men are cap. You heard it here first. Wow. Bisexual men are cap. Wow. What do you think, Annie? Yeah, this, is, uh, this has been reported to me by many of my reporters around the world. Um, <laughs> and I do, I do agree. I do agree. And I think the reason for it mm -hmm. is that it starts that way. Right. I, I think you start by, you're like, you know, maybe a little curious. You know, maybe yeah. let me see what it feels like. Can I get over my uh, um, discomfort with it? And then I imagine what happens. I don't have any experience fucking a dude, but I imagine <laughs> what happens is that it turns out we're better than that than women sure. at that too. Dick, oh, so oh, wait a minute. when you fuck, wow. <laughs> well, hold on. we're already better Whoa. than women at basically everything. Wow. So I what? bet when you wait. fuck a guy as a guy, you're like, oh fuck, this is how it can be. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and by the way, he's not wrong. Oh, I'm I mean, sure. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. I'm saying like Wait, men but, are better at. Uh, look, are everything? you saying? Hold on. Are you saying gender equality is cap? Is that another one? Gender equality is cap. Holy gender, shit. I mean, what is gender? You know. Oh, who, what is a woman? What is a man? Yeah, I don't know. You know? No yeah. one knows anymore. Just be like, hey, um, how are you? What's your name? What's your pronoun? <laughs> 
But I think you're right, Any. This theory of like, imagine, but but the same could go for being with another woman. Oh my gosh, imagine a woman that knows what it's like to have a V. Like, we should all be gay then. Yeah, we should she all be looks gay. Like a fucking boy. <laughs> so I here's the thing that um that I'm interested to hear. We're gonna hear from people on this. <laughs> We're going to hear from That's people a big on one. this. First of all, but here's, here's what here's the here's the categories of the people you'll hear from. Yeah, you're going to hear from from guys who go, "Yep, I used to. I said I was bi. It turns out I'm gay." Yeah, you're going to hear from women who go, "I dated a guy who was openly bi. Turns out he's gay." Yeah. What's more interesting though is because there are <laughs> going to be people who go like, "I get what you're saying, and those people <laughs> exist." But by the way, I am currently actually buy yeah here's what and, i want and, and they're gonna they're gonna explain because i think what happens is straight guys who just like women it is it's the reason you even hear like this kind of like it's incomprehensible to think that you could be <laughs> sexually attracted to a man yeah you don't so anyway. yeah it doesn't it doesn't register so and and you and we've all met or heard from or know people who are doing what i said where they claimed to be right by and they're like actually it was it was the gateway drug yeah. it was I, <laughs> not, it was like it i smoked is, a little uh, weed and guess what <laughs> heroin is the shit so i like dick and balls yeah but i would yeah. actually love to hear because i know we're gonna hear from people who go you guys that might be true but i am actually it's an anomaly i like i'd be very curious i know somebody i should reach out to this who's person. a lifelong oh, here's what i want to hear from i want to i'm gonna reach out here's the guy i want to hear from yep he's this guy's age he's 70 years old he's a new york city old school gay and he's like you know what i i go back and forth i go i have relationships i want to hear about people who have relationships with men and then women men that have relationships with men and then women they go back and forth that is a genuinely bisexual person in my I, I would agree yeah not just like hey i'm with a woman and then every now and then i dip out and maybe i don't know is that bisexual then? that sounds bisexual too Fuck. Yeah. but then is that just a gay who's not being fully gay I think and they want to stay married to have all the perks of being a straight person yeah i, I think you're spot on on that you know they want to it's it's more for the presentation i think Correct. Yeah. Quick point of personal privilege. Um, yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> and also, might I add that for a man to cross over into gay town is so, such a stigma that you really got to want it. You really got to want it. You do have dick. to want it. For yeah, a woman yeah, yeah. to be like, I'm bisexual, it's like a big deal. Here's, There's no stigma. Okay, I was going to tell you this when you, when you brought this up. The funny thing is, when you meet, even when you're like a guy and you meet a guy and they're like, yeah, you know, I'm bisexual. I most go, I go most guys go, bullshit yeah right you're like really but when you meet a woman who's like like i know i'll t i know a woman who is married mm -hmm. to a, a man and she's like sometimes i hook up with women and i don't go i think she's a lesbian correct i'm like yeah i buy it yeah. i don't know what it is i don't know if it's just like i just go like i believe that she is sexually interested in both yeah but a guy who says that you're like come on dog like right bro because it's such <laughs> Because it's such a crazy thing for a man in our society yeah. to go to a D, another D. It's and here's so, the thing, most, it's so most, major. I'm not saying every, but most women that are straight women go like, uh, no, you're, you're gay. To that guy. Of course. They go like, no, no, no. He's going to be gay. Because I every guy, listen, I've, I've been around. How straight are you? How straight are I you? I have many you know? gay male friends. Uh, there is a there is a time when they go, I'm bisexual, and that time is usually in their twenties when they're figuring out mm. the road to gay to gayness. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's an interim. It's not a final destination. I and I know that's gonna get me into trouble, but I don't care. I'm stupid and I, I think stupid Send thoughts. Us <laughs> if e email if you thought you were bi or actually gay, or if you're saying <laughs> you are currently bisexual and you're a man um, and you want to tell us about it send us an email your mom's podcast at gmail.com there's no house in the email address it's your mom's podcast at gmail.com in the subject line please put bisexual and loving it <laughs> i'm gay and we will respond no that's so gay you know we should ask tim dylan why would we ask him he's gay 
I know, but d- does he believe that there are bisexual men? This well, is I'm going to reach out to an open. I know a guy who's oh, okay. openly okay. bisexual. I'm going to ask him to to send us a video. You know, <laughs> and we'll play it. Or maybe we'll ask him to do a call with us. You know, yeah, yeah. And if and if I can add, by the way, since sure. we're since we're going to cap reports, I mean, I got a big one this week. I don't know. Oh, you have a new big cap report? I have a big one. Okay. Like I have besides gender equality, besides gender equality, big. yeah. Besides ED, PMS, yeah, all the acronyms. Let us know. The next one that I got, we gotta stop this, especially <laughs> us guys out there. We gotta stop panic attacks. <laughs> panic attacks. <laughs> Anxiety is cap. Panic attacks are fucking. Oh, shut the fuck up, bro. What are you complaining about? If you look, look up the definition of panic attack, mm-hmm. and it will literally in the definition yeah. define its own capness. Its Ooh. own capness. Ooh, if wow. I might create that okay. that adjective, can we? Can we actually capness? Get, scroll down. No. Uh, Mayo, Mayo Clinic's pretty reliable down. source. Go to three down. That one. Let's see. Hit that. Scroll open bigger. A panic attack is a sudden episode of intense fear that triggers severe physical reactions when there is no real danger or apparent cause. Panic attacks can be very frightening. When panic attacks occur, you might think you're losing control, having a heart attack, or even dying. You hear that? You might think that you're losing control. There is no real danger or right. apparent cause. But those people internally <laughs> believe that this is happening. Exactly. And you're saying that's bullshit. It's all in your head. Yeah, well, they, I agree. It's it all is in bullshit. Your head. It's all bullshit. That is definitely going to make people so <laughs> upset. That's cool. Some people who like really suffer <laughs> from crippling because anxiety. Because they're traumatized. He's like, quit your bullshit. Yeah, PTSD people. Yeah. And they're like, they go through therapy and they get medication. <laughs> He's like, stop being a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. These doctors, they're, they're trying to keep you down. Yep. Forget all that bullshit. Look, look what's what's the what's the uh, uh, what is it the the damn I'm prescription I'm for panic attacks? So what do you do? Get Fucking Penton? breathe. That's right. the that's oh. the. The well, yeah, they also, they also get psychiatric, like, you know, you, you get, get meds, bro. Yeah, you get meds, like Xanax, <laughs> yeah. Penton, stuff like that. Yeah. After you, you know, <sighs> have been told for so long that you have such an issue that you yeah. have to get these things, just, just, here you go, <laughs> just, <sighs> here you go. Yeah, if you just suffer stop. from crippling anxiety, <laughs> <laughs> please send us an email, <laughs> yourmomspodcast at gmail.com, uh, subject line, panic is cap. <laughs> Uh, I don't even have to. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys take yeah, it from here. Um, I can't even help you on this one, Annie. Here, this will help you out. Um, oh, this was, was I found this. I sent this <laughs> in immediately, and I was like, "Pull this immediately!" Oh, because this was on YouTube. I don't even know if it's still on YouTube, but this was <laughs> on YouTube, and I am not about. making this up. No, I don't think you know. Oh, this is not the okay. I don't know. Maybe you know about this too. I don't think I told you about this. Oh, okay, okay. So, because there's one that I showed you that Crayshawn sent me that you're like, have the boys rip this. Immediately. Oh, really? Is this it? Oh, let's okay, see. maybe this is it. Sorry, there's a lot that's going on. So maybe it's a lot, guys. The Hitler, aliens, okay. Garth. For reference, this is how oh, hairy okay. my butt is right now. <laughs> All right. So step one is to squeeze this yes. cream onto okay. your hand. This is so the one. I'm going oh. to be doing just that. Ugh. All right, now it's time to apply a thick, even layer to cover hair. Do not rub it in. So let's do that. <laughs> oh my God. He's got a great little uh, fruity ass. Yeah. He's a good looking guy. Don't forget to cover the cheeks as well. Setting a timer for three minutes. Don't go past three minutes because I did that with my armpits. Like I went to five minutes and it literally burned and stung so bad. We have one minute left. So far, there's no stinging. Nothing's hurting. It's on his balls and his asshole. Hold on, can we describe because people listening? So this sweet little Asian guy, which by the way, Asians are fairly hairless to begin with. So yeah. I'm surprised he's even attempting this. This is on YouTube. His, hair, his asshole, by the way, I should send him a video of my asshole. No shit. Because his asshole would be like, if they wax my asshole, it would look like his asshole. <laughs> I know. His asshole's better than mine. Anyway, he's spreading his butt cheeks open. So you see his dick and balls from the back. Yeah, on YouTube. On YouTube. And it's still up. I don't know if it's still up. Is it still up? This it's is gotta hilarious. be down. It's still up. It is up. <laughs> and I think I think it's because it's like he's it's educational. <laughs> 
And this is why Amazing. I don't let you, don't let your children on YouTube, people. This is why my kids are not allowed. We should on see if YouTube. I can make the same video and if they leave it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god please <laughs> hey please. guys here's my asshole today <laughs> yeah area thicker hair may require more time so let's check a small area first uh jesus uh, oh my god that was one swipe this is a fucking oh my god <laughs> this guy is out of his mind god damn a lot of the hairs <laughs> came out you guys yeah that's how it works he's got like a woman's Fuck. ass dude his ass looks better than mine oh my god okay bro Holy fuck, what's that shit coming out of it? This hair. is how my butt looks hair. pre rinse and pre shower and post hair removal cream. I'm going uh. to take a shower and clean the area <laughs> and come back and show you what the results are. All right, Thank guys, you so I'm much. Back Thank from you my shower, for did my nighttime skincare. <laughs> oh, okay. This is how my butt looks post shower, oh, oh, okay, post rinse, it. and post hair removal cream. Oof, that's wow. beautiful. Yeah. I gotta do. Whoa! Yeah. He didn't have to do that. This is not an educational <laughs> This is not, dude. Obviously, there are some hairs on my cheek still, like stray hairs, but like yeah. overall, I think we did really good. And I think yeah. this Nair hair removal cream did Come a really on. good job at removing my butt hairs. And so yeah, that's how you get rid Wait. of your butt hairs using the Nair okay. hair cream. I just want to say something. Or really so many any hair removal creams in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Here's the thing. It was educational. It I, was. I'm lying because I, <laughs> I'm thinking about trying this. Yeah, me too. Um, but he also he did the asshole wink where he like yeah. like that you see in a porn. Yeah, he was like check out and he like made his asshole. I didn't like and that then bit. this is on YouTube, and <laughs> this fucking smile where he's like, they like good night. <laughs> Are you? Oh, it's fucking crazy, dude. It is crazy. Well, here's how many you... views does it have? Yeah, let's see. Right now, I should say. That's amazing. Gonna... And he's not giving you a genuine yeah, smile. He's giving the chimp smile because the eyes aren't like he's yeah. not smiling with his eyes. He's yeah. doing like that weird like because that just thought just occurred to him like oh that's right my mom and dad can pull up YouTube also anybody so my employer. Like, uh... Um, by the it's way, it's at thirty eight million views. <laughs> I think we should start making these videos and posting them on this channel. <laughs> Fuck. 38 million views. Worth every watch, by the way. Hey, can I ask you this? Yeah. Do you think that the Nair, I mean, isn't it going to burn your beehole though? Like in your vi vagine? He said. Can I put this on my vagina? Can you look it up? Because then I'd rather Nair my vag. That would be great. Can you Nair your vagine? Yeah. Dude, I had no idea. It can't be used on directly. Should no. not be used directly. Yeah, because it like burns the hair off. So well, he's putting it on his beehole. hole. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Let's do it tonight. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll let you know how Let's it goes. Let's Instacart some nair. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> putting it in the fucking thing right now, dude. Man. His asshole really looked good though. Yeah. That was amazing. I didn't know you could do that with nair. Um. Fuck. You know what we haven't? Um. Oh, I wanted to tell you <sighs> this. This is um this is pretty exciting. You you brought this up. Um it's been a while. It's been a while. Are we going there? I'm ready. It's been a while. You don't know the excitement of when I found him back. Uh it's I forgot about him. I'm also, by the way, How I'm surprised I'm surprised he's alive. I'm not gonna say <laughs> that I'm not. Ready? Oh my god, I'm I'm fucking pumped, dude. Well, good morning, my kings and queens above 18. How are we doing this morning? Time to put them feet on the ground and let's take off running. running. Let's enjoy the day. Come on, have fun and enjoy. We got. We it's are. It's going to be a beautiful day out there. Yeah. Get out there and got do it. something. Do something. Get out there and enjoy the world. Do some yard work. Maybe go shopping. Do some yard work. Like that. Like that. Yeah, you guys deserve it. You worked all week. Time Thank to spend you. that money. Can I tell you something? <laughs> If you're not familiar with the king above 18. <laughs> yeah, who is he for the uh, people I mean, who don't know? The, this guy, you know, we got to know him over the years. Um, as... Good morning, ladies. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. It's time to go to work. Get up and let them boobs hang. Come on, make <laughs> yeah. some videos right when you get out of bed before you put that bra on. There you go. Very nice boobs. You guys keep it up. I love the videos of the no bras. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon, my queens above 18. That's what he became we known as. We got a mock-up shirt that we've done with a marker just to show you what Incredible shirt. Like. Incredible <laughs> design. muscle shirts. 
and muscle shirts. You know, uh, <laughs> Pharrell is now doing the Louis Vuitton um, <laughs> designs. I don't know if you Queens know that. He's the actual yeah. creative director now at, um, I believe it's at Louis Vuitton. Uh huh. You should do that. Well, I, you know what I was thinking is that I would actually buy that shirt, that shirt. I'm saying right. with, with the handwriting on there, yeah. that would be so rad. I mean, that could sell as a Vivian Westwood original. It's very punk rock. It's very cool. I think it's so my good. queens above 18. I have got a very special request going out. This video is the very, very, very request. Very special. Very request. It's going out to a queen above 18. She Very just special. turned 50 years old. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And wow, wow. Um, <laughs> Very request. Yeah. Is he Asian lady? At, what? So relax. <laughs> Never so relax, massage so relax. place. <laughs> yeah. Good Can evening, I? my kings and queens above 18. Well, you get the idea. So... <laughs> Can I tell you something that he's also really big on? It, he, he's real big on, um, it's, a, it's a beautiful day, get those feet on the ground, um, get, the, get the day going, get outside and do something. And he often does this, this message while lying down. He's, Always. He's never giving the, even the suggestion that his feet are on the ground. <laughs> And then he started his day. He's like, let's go do some yard work. Let's yeah. go see the world. He's, he's doing literally none of that. Like, he's doing none of that. He's laying down doing it. Always. Always. Bad angle. And not only that, like, in wait, this let's video. Let's keep up the challenge. No bra day. Oh, there we go. <laughs> no bra day. The keep up the challenge. Of... No wearing a bra? Yeah. Let's take it all the way up until October. How about that? Oh, wow. wow. Then you the, can, uh, this is official. You cold. heard the king, you know, everybody. <laughs> I know they're going to get cold. Okay, the okay. king has spoken. And why are his glasses fogging up? Probably from his breath. Um, <laughs> he probably already got his feet on the ground, had a <laughs> real active morning. <laughs> Laying down for a rest. <laughs> Wait, so he's telling us the ladies, the queens above 18, no bra until October? Until October. It's a yeah. long time. Yeah. No bra challenge. I, that's Let's a, do that it until October. <laughs> <laughs> he literally did that the way a king from the old era would be like, my people, yeah. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> we will all eat meat every day until October. He just issued a challenge. He declared yeah. it. Let he the meat cake. It. Do you... Um, do I register for this challenge? Like the New York City Marathon? Is I think this like you just your... send him the video and then he goes, approved. Yeah. 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 <laughs> approved. <laughs> yeah. King. The um, king. Unreal. He's still at it though. I was worried because we didn't hear from him for a while. A long time. And, and But when I met, when we met him, we did a sketch with him about, what, two years ago now? And this guy makes fucking Bert look like David Goggins. Let's be <laughs> honest. Like this guy does not move a lot no and he said that he had some knee trouble he he does work as a, a truck driver so he sits a lot yeah and he may have some health issues so i'm glad that he's back and telling us to go all right you enjoy your day have fun thank you always enjoy the slap day that always. queen on her butt slap that king on his butt mm -hmm. get him up put him in the shower let's go let's, let's have go. a wonderful day let's go my queens active the kings are going to keep you <laughs> safe today the kingdom is safe and everybody's good. He doesn't have much pep. I love you yeah. guys. You guys have a it's wonderful down. day. Free the girls. No bra month. <laughs> have a good day. For, till October. <laughs> yeah, no bra two months, you yeah. mean. Yeah. His math is suffering, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. Remember when he had his merchandise shop and we tried to help him by plugging it? Oh, my it? God. Wait, remember the process? Yeah, it's it was multiple <laughs> emails. You want one of these shirts? He goes, you send me an email. Tell me, <laughs> tell me which shirt and which size... Uh, then send me another email where I'll send you an email back about where to send payment. Yeah. It's to Kathy. You have to write the check yeah, out to write Kathy. Write the check to Kathy. You send that to her. <laughs> and then when we get that, send us your address in the third email and we'll oh know where to God. ship it. And you're like, this is a great way to sell Squarespace, stuff. Squarespace, dude. I think we literally told him to use Squarespace to build a fucking website. Jesus Christ. Another super uh, fucking cool guy who is really the legend of all the coolest the coolest guy that's ever existed um <laughs> and you know we love him he is a dear dear friend i would say a you know like a the the origin of what this show is about is you mm. know black guys oh, of course love my favorite my love good. if you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at 23.95 
if you want. Eddie, how are you? you can move in. Um, I think so. Oh, if you poetry. haven't, if you haven't paid attention to this, it's been a few months mm. of RPC leaving increasingly more critical emails or excuse me comments mm. he leaves them often multiple times under the same post mm. uh, sometimes from different accounts um and he you know he does it everywhere he does it on all the so he wrote on this is i think on the <laughs> facebook post on the right on the facebook page it says this so-called mess of a painting is not what i wear i don't wear this hat only for a character I do, which is basically saying I do wear this hat, but when I'm in character. Um, <laughs> right. The background would need flames. And I should have a cigar and a black cowboy hat on and a black open shirt, and then you have the real devil in me. Lucifer's lair. Right. L Lucifer's lair. Why was I put near Uncle Big Lips? Um, <laughs> shameless bed bug, no shine picture, as I just see something in him you can't. I'm never jealous, but he follows me and tries to compete with me. He lives in a men's shelter. <laughs> Is in a mental institution patient, not me. Uh, send 50 videos to YMH all the time. I'm a professional comedian and performer and don't do that. He always wow. makes that claim that he's a professional comic. Right. Well, right? to be fair, he does run the Coney Island yeah. um, drag show or yeah. he does the karaoke at Coney Island every Sunday. So this, by the way, is just something that I see on some of the things right i mean this i mean this is like this is actually an elaborate way for him to but he also i mean it there's more than this you know so here's a dm take my picture off that wall mm. i have my own show not ymh take down my picture take down my picture and then there's he sent a heart emoji it, it doesn't make sense yeah very contradictory um, someone wrote to him why don't you like ymh anymore they played me for a fool I came before Unk, Sh Unk Stink No Shine and his picture came before me. I don't come in oh, second place. Oh, that, that's what it is. Yeah. He, he thinks and, he's second place. And he said, those lame comics made fun of me. It was not funny. So we've shown his videos to people and like Louis had this big reaction to it. I don't know if you're... If yes, you remember. of course. Louis had a big reaction. If you don't know, you can look it up. And ever since then, I noticed RPC would do posts about Louis, trashing Louis. Oh, and anybody wow. that has said something, he gets very, very upset, you know? Take my picture off that wall of shame and disgrace. You know, it keeps going. Um, this is him doing Uncle Booty Shines oh. is in the house. Yeah, he, but he likes, he likes, what does he like? Black guys. Black guys who like the fuck. So he's, fuck he's upset that Uncle isn't into him? Maybe I don't is know. Is that a thing for Uncle Shine? I don't know. Um, that's, oh, jeez. That's him doing his oh, Uncle that's, Shine. That's offensive. Yeah. Jeez, uh, that's not nice. This is like, he is gay, Tom is turning gay. Oh. Take my picture down, so phony. Wow. Wait. Are you gay? I'm gay. Are you bisexual? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. So he's turning this around now. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is my other nickname. Tom Ham Sandwich Segura. So he started yeah, to call me Tom one. Ham Sandwich Segura. Uh, self doing his, he's a jerk, no talent. Fake laughs on track. No talent, you're sick. Big lips, shameless shine. So he's now he's late, like, like kind of tying me in with he's him. spiraling a little bit. And he keeps calling me Ham Sandwich. <laughs> Which is funny. I know. I love seeing there. No, uh, and Theo Meathead Vaughn and Louis CK is jealous. So guys who have seen the video and made a comment, he also attacks them, you know? He's really, really getting out there. Yeah. You know, um, I don't know, but he but, but he goes through these cycles, and then we call him, and then he'll act like everything's fine. He's like, hey, he's But the upset. difference is that now he doesn't answer. He won't answer do, the he calls? Don't, he won't answer. He won't do calls. Um, we had a we were looking for interns, and he wrote, do not take this offer. <laughs> you oh, do not wow. need to work for them, the interns. Um, oh, he looks good there. <laughs> He's telling me not to leave Garth alone. Um, oh, I did like that he called me Miss Piggy. That was really funny. Yeah. On my last special, I wore all pink. So. And by the way, funny. he also does this thing where like anytime I leave a, I, I, I put a post up, you know, like of anything, like a, if it's, a, if it's a, a, an Instagram post. Yeah. If I do uh. a quick look, at the comments, yeah. there's always something from him 
always that says like go away tom <laughs> he just He's writes so like mad. go away we're all sick of you and i'm like wait what oh yeah here it is i, I did a screen grab i posted something and he wrote boring <laughs> <laughs> and then he wrote <laughs> on the same post he oh. wrote like 20 minutes later he went back and he wrote look it's tom 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 always tom 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 you're not funny nor attractive <gasps> you're not worth a penny to see Oof. yeah this is like, and it happens like every post, every post he does this. Then apparently I didn't even know he's always doing, he's doing videos all the time, you know? Hey, what is it? Coach. Now Tom Segura's a coach. We've seen the pay up you had and you made your staff give you money. Tommy, 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 what can we do? You're a lying sack of dog meat. You lie, lie, lie. Oh, and what happened? You gotta pay, they gotta he looks pay good. you. Now you're a coach. You are so corrupt to tell me, Tom, ham sandwich, I'll pray Segura. You're oh, done answer. with. And you don't take my thing down. I'm gonna expose you to your, uh, uh, extra, extra, all those magazines. And it's all about your bill and affairs that you have on your staff and undercover money, you won't be alive. Your mom's house kid, are you going to go and cap that? Cap it, baby. Cap, he's watching the cap report. He's watching. Well, listen, Robert. I, I, that's a beautiful necklace. Look, also, we I'll love say you. That. I think Robert looks great. That's a great necklace. Robert, he looks really good, actually. Robert, that is a top tier We necklace. love you. I don't know where this is coming from. I know. You're clearly above Uncle Shine. You're one of the original people that we love the most and you know it, he's uh he's making a is, reference to this is terrible uh when i coached any right for yeah. the basketball he's like thing. oh you're a fucking well that was just coach a sketch. Now? you know he he takes these things so seriously it's like robert this is a comedy show you know yeah i know what, he's please so please no no i know i know i'm tom zagora no don't take my picture no no i have to see my buddy please i know i didn't write the book please please oh that's another one he does that i didn't write my book well that's interesting yeah but i well okay i watched you write it i mean i know and it's also like there's really specific stuff in the book. yeah i know it's about like my dad <laughs> <laughs> my mom. No, I watched I don't you know. write it's it. It's very strange. Oh, well, he's got strange. his dolls back though. That's nice. Um, well then, and he figured out filters. He did figure out. That's, that's a very cool, cool filter. But can I tell you one of the things that the curveball I got from all this? What? I'm not mad at Tom what? or Christina, but I've been up in Philly well and I have cancer. Oh, what? I'm hoping to cope. I don't mind the picture up, but I wish it was a better one. Well, you look great. There. I feel bad on how I vented, but doing a business and podcast on the side, on Instagram, Facebook. Makes not one able to take tension. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then the next day, he wrote, Now Tom Segura is making fun of a man who wants to stay young. What's the problem, Tom? Somebody can't be young and look good? You got that was Brian Johnson, the guy who does like the crazy treatments every day. Oh, Remember, yeah, like that, that guy is awesome. Yeah yeah, 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 the millionaire. So anyway, oh, it's wow. like this crazy... Psycho, Roller coaster. I just want to say something, man. Robert, you know, you're still our number one. Yeah, I mean, dude. we love you here. I uh, I had no idea that you're dealing with any health issues. Um, you know, if we can be of any assistance, I would hope that you would ask us because we would like to assist you in any way. Of course. Um, you know, I thought the I thought the photo of you looks pretty badass, actually. The yeah, you painting. look amazing. You're so handsome. Yeah. You look great. Um, but look, man. Here's the thing. I, I, can I tell you the only thing that really gets to me about this? I don't like ham sandwiches. I mm. <laughs> really. I, yeah. I like. I thought you tolerated. I'll have one if there's nothing, right. but I always go for turkey. I like turkey sandwiches, and I, I like ham. I like the taste, the yeah. smokiness of the meat. I and don't I, like here's turkey. the thing: turkey dry pussy. It doesn't meat. sound as good. To say Tom turkey sandwich. No. Ham sandwich is, rolls funny. off the tongue better. Mm -hmm. But I just want them to know I'm not a ham sandwich guy. Mm. I like turkey. I like chicken. Turkey and chicken. You yeah. like mayonnaise, which is weird. I am a mayonnaise fan. Ugh. Um, Any, is mayonnaise cap or what? Is mayonnaise cap? I don't think I could make a condiment cap. No. <laughs> I'll try though. I will research. I'll do my research. Okay. <laughs> hey, you do like you like mayo? 
No, black no not personally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Very, it's a very yeah. cultural thing. Okay. Uh, or Thousand yeah. Island. They don't like ranch. All these male. But you don't like ranch either, right? <laughs> black people don't like ranch. Huh? What? I'm Do sorry. Black people eat ranch. I forget. Ranch. Ranch. Ranch yeah. is kind of creamy and mayo-y. I mean, I can fuck with ranch. It depends. It depends what What's it's your on. favorite? What? If you have to yeah. take a dressing, what will you take? Oh, for a salad? Yeah. Like I if don't you, eat salad. Yeah. <laughs> salad. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. How's your health? eating since everything remember you were on such a crazy health kick is it all back to what you were before uh not all back um i'm getting some routines in i definitely am not going anywhere near as hard as i was for yeah. training because that was sure. i mean that was brutal but um yeah. yeah i'm 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 i got some more routines in for sure i'm drinking nothing but water uh, really? really yeah yeah no, that's so good no soda no basically no alcohol basically nothing but water so no that's, alcohol Oh, but Pretty you know, much. are you a big Not, alcohol guy? Nah, that's with? the thing. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal That's for my me vice. Anyway. I can't stop. I drink, I drink two glasses of wine every night on, in summertime, and I feel like a raging alcoholic. Um, yeah, you are kind of a booze bag. Uh, RPC. <laughs> it was so dismissive. We hope to. Yeah, Christine. Yeah, well, we, hope to, uh, we hope to make up with you at some point. Yeah, I mean, we I love hope, you. I hope you will let us. Uh, it Talk really makes me sad that he feels we don't love him because we have so much love and appreciation. Yeah, I love him so much. He's my original. I even like watching him come. I don't. I don't mind it when he does those things and he's like, "Oh yeah, oh ah, yeah, I'm gonna come." Wow, I don't wow, mind. Wow, I don't uh, mind. It's like watching a friend say hello when he jizzes in front of me. All right, I will be in Las Vegas oh. um, later this month. I will be at the. The Cosmopolitan, I believe. The Chelsea at the Cosmopolitan. I'm doing three shows. Um, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> um, and I have some shows that I've announced. Um, I'm back out there. You know what I mean? I'm back out there doing my thing and stuff like that. Um, if you want to see it, you can see... Let's see. Uh, yeah, there's some of the, the... August 31st, September 1st and 2nd in Vegas. And um, I've Vegas, been doing... Vegas, baby. I've been doing... Um, uh, Niagara Falls on November 9th. I've been doing uh, a whole new hour of you know I'm, I'm I'm loose I'm loose I'm out there having fun figuring it out. I That's like the I best. love the process. Um, you want to see me talk about H Dog? Some of the stuff that I'm uh, thinking about these days. H Dog, <laughs> come to a show. I'm really enjoying it. All um, right. And then Gene, I'm gonna as a special announcement. New dates: Toronto. Literally, there's like 20 tickets left for the Bluma Apple Theater, September you know 7th, what I mean? September. December 8th, uh, Jizz and Peg, Cala, Canada. You might want to... Win it, Willie Peg. Winnipeg. Winnipeg. At the Club Regent Event Center. You know Correct. I mean? You know what I mean? And then yeah. Comedy Vex, downtown Denver. The best. I know. Yeah, I'm I'm, like from Miami. Those shows are almost all sold out, so get your tickets right now, right now. And then I added Shark Lake Titties, Puta, Wise Guys, October Great 13th club. and 14th. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> no, the hell we don't. You ain't say anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> San Jose Improv, October 15th. You know what I'm saying? The, the Comedy Club on State, October 26th through 28th in Madison. Another Jizz amazing content. club is comic. Have you, been, have you done Comedy Club on State? Like a million years ago. And it's fantastic. Right now, yeah. I don't know what you're saying. Same? I don't know, I don't what, know you mean. what you mean. And then I added a night in Vegas, which will be announced pretty soon in October as well. Ooh. At, yeah. Yeah, ChristinaPOnline.com. Also, buy my lipstick if you haven't already. It is an incredible product. Um, yeah, just do it. Try it out. I've perfected my shade of red because I've been wearing red lipstick like a little hooer since I and was 13. And there might be coming up uh, maybe a new announcement in that world. Maybe in yeah. that world. We shall see. Um, and that's it. I love you. Um, let's see what else. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. What was the... Uh, oh, yeah. You got to tell this. You right tell. now? May I, which one? The top one there. The Yo, first thing. can I pish first? Okay. Because I really want to tell the story like sure. I mean it. Yeah. I got to fucking squirt. All right. Can I tell you? Okay, I'm going to share this story with you guys. This happened to me over the summer. And I'm, prou I'm proud and I'm not proud. Let me start by saying that. Okay. So growing up, my mother was severely, was mentally ill. We all know that. Yeah. She was, you know schizophrenic at the end of her life but she was very confrontational with people in public very confrontational it cannot be <laughs> stated that some people are reluctant for conf to confrontation yes and some people really embrace it and your mother definitely embraced confrontation like to the point and it was always usually directed at wait staff mm -hmm. um she was convinced if like one time we went to a japanese restaurant and she was convinced that the the hostess sat us near the toilets because we were white. 
mm-hmm. and then call the lady racial gentlemen of other kinds that racial slur, which doesn't even, it's not even the right slur for Japanese people. You know what I mean? Yeah. The point is my mother would start shit with people in public and my whole life I was ashamed about it and I was, I became very non-confrontational with people in public because sure. of that reason. Like I'm always very understanding and I, I don't like, I don't do a lot of road rage. You don't see that with me. Like I don't do it. Okay. Now this summer you were in LA and I couldn't, I had to take your car because my car was unavailable. I had, or a, I had a car of mine in Los Angeles. That's part of this story. The whole reason it's a long story, but it was in Los Angeles temporarily. And on this particular day, you're going to take it from here, but on this particular yeah. day, I, I, I forget had, why I didn't have my car. Yeah. I, I don't know. And car. I don't know where I was, but you go, Hey, can I take your car? And I go, yeah. And you go, because you're like, just so people know, Christina is not into the cars that I like. She's not ever been like, I don't care. Oh, cool. Yeah. Like, you I'm don't not a care. Car person. But you've also never driven. That's true. This car. Um, it is a Porsche. 911 um it's a gt3 touring <laughs> and it has which means nothing to me that right it's chinese but it is tuned up it has a um demon 4.5 liter engine and it's tuned up to 650 horsepower so it fucking rips and it's, yeah and you tell me you're gonna take it and i'm like it's a gt3 touring no wing um <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, anyway, you tell me, and I'm like, yeah, have fun. And within, by the way, within 10 minutes, just before you get to your story, within 10 minutes, you call me and you're like, dude, <laughs> this thing is fucking amazing. Yeah, I was like, dude, this fucking rips, dude. Because yeah. I, I took it through a canyon and I was like, fuck, this is what yeah. I'm talking about. Like, I felt like I was one with the car. Does that make sense? I know why. I was like, this is fucking know rad, why. dude. I went to do my gig in Denver. Oh yeah, and I so I'm you go yeah I, I'm like I'm in Denver and you're like can I take your car and yes. I go yeah then I'm like okay and by the way I didn't sleep well I had to get up early for this flight um, I fly to Denver just to do one show uh, at the club one night and when I I'm so tired I go to take a nap when I wake up from this nap I pick up my phone and you have texted me oh my god. Don't. I got into a fight. Okay. And I'm like, what? All right, listen. So, but let me let me back it up to you. Like, I just to preface how mortified I am of public fighting. My step when my stepdad and my mom got together, my stepdad was a sociopathic criminal who I really liked. Actually, he was a he was a fun guy. A lot of times, know. they're very charming. Yeah, Keep he's going. so charming. They would start fights with people anywhere. I'm talking like the grocery store parking lot. To give us an example. Okay, one time um, we were standing in line at a grocery store and somebody's kid was crying, like a three-year-old. And my stepdad goes to the parent, why don't you tell that kid to shut the fuck up? Uh, and the person was like, what did you say to me? And then the dad of the kid was like, what the? What are you talking about? My kid's three years old. And he's like, yeah. My stepdad was like, you want to fucking fight me or something? And then they take it out to the parking lot and they have a fucking fist fight. That's the level of shit that I grew up with. Another time in a movie theater, my stepdad told somebody to shut up because they were making too much loud. And the same thing, like, you want to go fucking fight me? Yeah. Like, I just grew up in a lot of confrontation. My mom loved it. I think that's what made my mom attracted to my stepdad because she inherently was very combative, which I know is how you say that word now, combative. And you- She loved it. She loved starting fights with strangers. You were like, I don't want this. I don't want fucking any part of this shit, okay? So anyway, I'm driving Tommy's fancy Porsche and I'm loving it. I'm having the best day. I didn't realize cars could be fun. And I'm just like, I'm having like a fucking SoCal day, right? Like I'm in a good vibe. I'm going to stop at my grocery store. I'm going to fucking hit up the salad bar. That's my favorite. Like I'm vibing. And um, Rob Eiler and I are texting, I think. And he sends me something funny. And I pull into the parking spot at the grocery store. And I text Rob back, you know, responsibly. I'm going to put it in park. And I'm just like idling, texting back, LOL. I put the phone down. I turn off the car. I open the car door. And there's this old man standing there, like fucking right there, right? And I was like, that's weird. And I go, hey, <laughs> like, hey, man, you know, like, and he goes, finally. And I was like, um, what? And he goes, finally, finally, you turned the damn car off. You were idling for 
for like 15 minutes. And I go, what? Like at first I start laughing because I can't believe that somebody would pick that bone with me. Like I start, I go, wait, what? Nick? So to give this, to make like real clear, he, he gets close to where you are. He moves. He walks up he to walks me. Up He's to standing you. as I'm getting out of the car. And he's saying. And I stand up there. God, how long were you going to leave this car running for? Correct. And I, and I, so first I'm in disbelief. You think it's like a joke. Yeah. And I think he's like a fan or whatever. And, and I was like, wait, what dude? And he goes, I'm sitting here trying to have my lunch and your car is so loud. We can't enjoy our lunch. Now, keep in mind. This man is not eating in a restaurant. No. This is a grocery store in LA that has a patio area. Such Outside. that if you are a fat fucking pig and you can't wait to get to your house or eat in your car like a civilized person, you fucking eat in the parking lot like an animal. And that's what this guy did. Right. Okay? It's fucking hot. It's sun like you don't do it unless you're desperate to eat. In my opinion, that's the only time I've ever done. Right. So he's so I asked for clarification. I go, wait, what, dude? And he goes, you were idling for so long and it was so loud. We can't enjoy our lunch. And I go and I start to snap in like something fucking. I start stop being. I stop taking the high road in my head. Right. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this guy is out of his fucking mind. Like you're coming at me, bro. And I start to go like you're you're actually mad at me because I idle too long. And then I started to defend myself. And I go, I sent a fucking text message to my friend. And that was it. It was like maybe a two minute idle, sir. And he's like, well, it took forever. It took so long and your car is so loud. And he repeated himself. I'm trying to eat my lunch. Right. And it should be pointed out, if it's not clear, that your car is outside. In a parking lot. Yeah, and In a parking in lot. In a parking lot where you put cars and he's deciding to have lunch outside where Just where cars make noise. To. Cars yeah. live outside. Yeah, you yeah. fuck. And then all of a sudden... My crazy mom brain, not yeah. not meaning mom brain, my mother, I fucking channel her. It's something came in over me and uh, gen genetics, biologics took over. And Tom, I've never said the right thing. I've never had a good public fight, but today was my day. So he, he keeps saying it. He goes, he goes, I was trying to have my lunch and your car was too loud. And I, you know what I said? Mm. I go, yeah, well, I hope it's your last lunch, you old piece of shit. And I was like, oh my God. And I was so proud of myself. Like, you know, when you're vibrating, cause you're like, I did it. I stood up yeah. for myself. I fucking stood up for myself. I did it. And I was so happy with myself. And then he's like, whoa, yeah. And he keeps yelling at me. And then I just start, I walk away. I'm like, I hope it's your last lunch. I hope you fucking die. And I walk away and I'm so shaking and vibrating. And you think when you tell me this, by the way, cause you tell me this story when you're inside. So I get inside. Yeah, yeah. But hold on, but hold on. So, so hold on. So I'm fucking talking to myself. I'm muttering to myself cause mm -hmm. I'm so keyed up that I, I got, I got a zinger in number one and I'm having a confrontation with some fucking weird guy in a parking lot. So I'm, I'm all like, <laughs> and I'm muttering. I'm like, motherfucker, fuck you. You fucking, you're fucking too loud. Like I'm talking to myself and this woman fucking sees me talking to myself and, and I go, I'm sorry. I'm talking to myself. I just fought with a man in a parking lot <laughs> and she goes, that's okay. I talked to myself too. And I was like, okay, thank God I'm not. And you know where you're, you're afraid that everyone's watching you yeah, and everyone's yeah. seen it and yeah. I'm, I'm in this shame spiral. So that's when I call you. You call me in the fucking grocery store. And here's the thing. Oh my God. I can sense your, your shame. Cause you go, God, you tell me the story. And I was like, quiet for a second and you're like are you embarrassed by me are you mad at me and yeah, i was like i hate this kind I of go, stuff i go dude this is great <laughs> like like this is the best story i've ever heard and you go really i go yeah, yeah. like that's awesome i'm so proud of you i'm so happy that you, you said did that. you said i love you more yeah yeah i did yeah, <laughs> yeah. Quote. I, I thought it was really great and then i think i go to the gym and i in the hotel and when i get back my phone goes, I have a follow-up second story with the guy. And I'm like, what? Yeah. So it gets even crazier. So I'm now walking through gro the grocery store. I get my, my items. I'm talking myself down because I'm very amped up. And I go to the checkout. And I'm like, okay, what do I, like, okay, this is done. Just fucking put it past you. Like, you were having a rad day. Just go back. Go back. Just yeah. fucking shake it off like Taylor Swift, right? And I fucking look outside, and he's still there. He's still eating lunch in the goddamn parking lot. Yeah. 
And I was like, fuck, now I have to reconfront this man because my car is still parked. He's still sitting there. I have to have another fucking confrontation with this man. So at this point, I'm thinking like, I got to show Tom this guy. So I snap a picture of him and I also, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> this goblin looking a piece of shit. Look at he. It's not even a fucking window. That's a piece of tarp plastic that they put so animals like him can eat in the parking lot without dust blowing up. Show the other picture of this animal, this demon goblin. Mm. Ugh, yeah, you ain't yeah. too loud. So I'm like, shit. I have to see this guy again. So then I, I say to myself, I says to Christine, you're gonna walk to the car with your head up high. Right. And I said, I talked to myself, I go, you're going to walk your, fuck this guy. If he comes up to you again, you know, I'm still a woman and there's still yeah. a man. He can fucking kill me. I mean, yeah. I know he's old as shit and he's going to die, but like he can still harm me. So I'm like, just walk up, act like nothing's happening. You're proud of yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. You stood up for yourself. You get in the car and you get out of here. So I walk proudly to our car. I open the door. I start the engine. And you know what I said to myself? I said, self, fuck this guy. Fuck him. You are your mother's daughter. You're going to give it a little fucking extra sauce before you leave the park. And it was like, again, I channeled Edith. She was in me and she was like, she was whispering in my ear. She's like, here's what you have to do. <laughs> the crazy whisper. She goes, rev the engine five times. Let him know who you fucking are. Cause I've got Texas plates on that shit too, yeah. right? So I was like, I start the car, vroom, and it is it is loud. It's it loud. Is loud. By the it's way, like a there's jet a, engine there's starting. An, there's an aftermarket exhaust on it too. It's pretty fucking loud. <laughs> this thing is like a jet engine. It's like, uh, bup, 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 bup. like the idle is loud. Bup, 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 bup. Yeah. And then I do it five times. Vroom, 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 vroom. I really get him fired up, and I see him fucking standing. <laughs> yeah, now yeah. he's really pissed off. He's standing, and I'm backing out. And I was like, okay, Christina, just back out. Don't hit anybody don't don't fuck yourself now bitch like you're almost out so i back out successfully i'm like i'm shaking because i'm so stoked to fuck with him again and then i'm pulling up and i'm like shaking and he's yelling at me again he goes finally finally you get out of here and i roll my window down and i go oh sir you forgot this and i flip him the fucking bird yeah and then i drive off and i was so proud of myself yeah thanks guys thanks I've never done that. I've never. Can I tell you what I'm really proud of is like, I never get moments like that. Like, you know, when you fight with somebody and you're yeah. like, oh, I should have fucking, I should have fucking. The fact that I was like, that my mother's angel, like an angel was on my shoulder guiding me. A confrontational angel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And you were right about something else that you said, which what? was that he wouldn't have said that to a guy. Right. No. He like saw, if it were he saw you? a woman get out of the car and he was like, I'll put her in her place, you know? There's a lot of guys that will confront women that won't confront men, you know? Gender equality is cap. Yeah. Because I agree. I think he did see like a little blonde girl. Yeah, he saw you get out and he was like, um, I'm, I'm going to fuck with her. Yeah. He came he up waited. to me, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, If he saw a big dude get out of the car, he wouldn't have been like, hey, what's up the idling? You know? To you? You could crush him. Well, yeah, he's this an old man. fucking yeah. disgusting, nebbish goblin yeah, I would have, piece of shit fuck face. I would have loved to have seen that though. Him yeah. coming to you? Any, I, I, I would have loved him to see, say that to you. I might have lost my shit if I saw him say it would to you. Would you? You would have. It could have been bad. I could have been bad. Break his fucking. Yeah, I, I probably would have said some. Some meaner stuff? Not cool stuff. What would you say? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to think about it, actually. <laughs> I probably would say a lot meaner stuff if I saw him saying something to you Ooh. than if I saw him saying it, if he said it to me, you know? I mean, look, I get it in the world, like. He's just looking to dispense yeah, his old negative guy energy. That eats you know? at the grocery store, you know, like, and it's a good grocery store, by I the know, way. I know. He can afford a better, whatever, dude. I'm, like, the main thing about this is like cars are allowed to make noise outside. in parking lots, bro. Yeah, if it was like I'm eating in a restaurant and you pulled your car that's into different. the restaurant. That's a fucking crazy thing to do. Yeah, complain all you, but like you're in a parking lot. Look, you can see the cars there. Yeah, of course. Through you're, his tarp. You're allowed to do whatever Pig. you want with that. Yeah, but anyway, I'm just super pumped that, like, I finally got a zinger in. It never happens to me. I'm always like, you're the one. Shut up. And then, yeah. you, you know, you, you think about it later. I hope like, that your last lunch is a great wine. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Very proud of you. And I'm proud that you still love me because I, I was, like, afraid. Yeah, you were Oh, my God, afraid. he's going to think I'm, I'm always so afraid that you'll think I'm crazy like my mom or something. But no, no. You just love me more, and that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. When you say mean things to people, it always makes me happy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
That's our special bond. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, babe. We got to wrap it up. You, Tom, you're the best. Love you too. And uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> thank you for listening. And we'll see you next week. My love you. Good morning, my queens above 18. Good morning. A lot of you are asking about the King Challenge. Queens above 18. Queens above 18. Queens above 18. Please, if you're below the age of 18, get up and start the day. Come on. Come on. Put the feet on the ground, get you a nice hot breakfast. Very lovely. Take that cover and take a shower. Take that cover and pull it off yourself. Take that cover and take a shower. Get up and start the day. Rains above 18. Rains above 18. Rains above 18. Please, if you're below the age of 18, don't do this challenge. I trust you guys won't. Become 18, you can. Thank you. you can do anything. King. On the front. King. On the back. You know the king likes the no bra look. And give me a dance. Rains above 18. Rains above 18. Rains above 18. If you're below the age of 18, what we can do is have fun with this. Take an old white t-shirt, king on the front, king on the back. The king loves you, the king loves you, the king loves you, the king loves you. And do a video. Very lovely. Have fun with it. Rains above 18, rains above 18. Above 18. Please, if you're below the age of 18, enjoy. I love you all. Let's make some videos. I want to see them. I want to laugh. King. On the front. King. On the back. King. On the front. King. On the back. You just watched your mom's house. Did you like it? Then watch another one. Watch our clips. I don't know. Check it out. Try it out. If you didn't like it, look for other stuff. Maybe in the next video there's people getting hurt the way you like. Or maybe gay dudes talking about dick stuff. I don't know. Try it out. Maybe dude, there's always something for everybody. Just look in these cubes. Squares. Whatever.